So Bill, I know you've been breeding Pembrokes for over 20 years. Tell us what you think makes the ideal Corgi. Well, specifically, I think the ideal Corgi is all about their mentality. They're great companions, they're busy, they're athletic, they're very trainable dogs and they want to please. And their quirkiness, they're really quirky and, and do their own thing and behave in their own manner. But a Pembroke, of course, you know, we have a standard, the uh, PWCCA, the Pembroke Welsh Corgi Club of America, uh, establishes a standard which is put forth for judges to judge by. And in that standard, in the beginning, it just talks about three things being the most important. And the first one says is that they have an attractive headpiece. And, and, and it gives detail about that because they're supposed to be an equilateral triangle when their ears are up from the tip of their nose to the tip of the ears. And they're supposed to have oval eyes and markings and all of those sort of things. And so the standard you can read and that's what judges judge them by. And then the second thing is that they're supposed to have a balanced, well-built profile when they're standing in front of you, which means that you know one end isn't more angled than the other and that they have a strong back and that they're 40% longer than tall. It's not quite as long a breed as some people might think. You know, it's not dachshund-like. Right. The third thing that they judge them on is that they're athletic and that the profile gait is to be considered okay. one of the most important things. Are there any trends that you've noticed in the breed in the last 20 years? Uh, how they've changed or improved? The most important thing that maybe 20, 30 years ago that I saw when I first entered the breed is that the breed has come together and brought together a couple of things. Because in the early time we had dogs who were structurally very sound and moved and athletic but without quite as much type. And then we had dogs that had glorious type that were typically not very athletic. And I think the breeders in the last 30 years have been able to combine those two types, which is not easy initially. And Pembroke breeders have done a fabulous job. The Pembroke Welsh Corgi community is a worldwide one. It's one of those breeds that we know everyone in England, we know everybody in the Scandinavian countries, in South America, all over the world, Australia, New Zealand, and we share dogs, um, many of us, and it's a small world.